This new flag will give you boosted golden reputation for literally everything you do in Sea of Thieves. But what is it? So if you're like me, then you've probably been waiting an eternity for season 10 to finally come out of the closet. And here it is, guilds, a brand new system for players to explore that allows you to share progress with your friends. The more you all pull together, the more rewards you unlock as a group. And essentially, your guild can become its own recognized trading company. It says vote to represent Sinclair Pirates as an emissary. That's actually so cool. Now, this new emissary flag can be increased by literally doing anything in game. PvE, hourglass, even cooking. And similar to the Reaper's emissary, you can gain boosted golden reputation for everything you sell at the Sovereigns, or by cashing out your hourglass. And aside from this new system to level up, Season 10 has a few other things up its sleeve, and we're going to explore every single thing the first month of Season 10 has to offer. That's a good boy rowboat right there. Wait, what? That's a good boy rowboat right there. Wait, on, on the island? <laughs> yeah. Okay, now we have to sink them. God damn it! All the while, working on obtaining the newest emissary flag in the game. In today's Tales of Getting Booty. Subscribe. Now, my first order of business was increasing our guild level for the Sinclair Pirates. You see, there are quite a few new rewards locked behind your guild's level, and our first goal would be level 15, which unlocks a guild emissary flag. But to get to level 15, we needed to explore the two major ways a player can obtain guild reputation. The first method, selling treasure, be it through PvE or stealing. Oh, they've got so much stuff here too. Go ship attack them, come on! What are you doing? Yeah, there we go. I wanted to collect up loot and start grinding because holy cow, do guilds require a lot of work to level up. This isn't something you're meant to work on alone, but as a group of players, it all starts to make sense, especially when guilds can technically reach level 1000. And so teaming up with some YouTuber who's definitely copying me. Oh my God, get, do I get a shout out on your channel? I'm such a big fan. <laughs> Yeah, actually am though. We set sail for the first world event and began our grind. But as we worked on the active ghost fleet, well, it looked like we weren't the only ones interested in the rewards this world event would yield. There is a um a brigantine behind us. Are you saying they're approaching from the rear? Yes, they are. You can't stop yourself. It's your influence. I continue to blame you. <laughs> my dark influence. Now, I'd attempted to board them and at least start some kind of negotiation, because as it stands, people keep calling me a seal clubber in regards to swabbies. But I swear to God, these new players always want to fire. Hello? And having failed that negotiation, wow. Time to pull out the swabby club. Hey, le left, left side cannons? Uh, left side cannons? <laughs> They're in a rock. They are physically in a rock. Oh my God. I'm raising sail and going left. They should be demoth. Well, maybe. Ooh, okay. They're demastered. Oh, whoa, 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 whoa. I'm almost beheaded. Don't get beheaded. Dehead. <laughs> not. Yeah, right. Pull sails behind them. I'm gonna go. Okay. That anchored again. Nice, nice, nice. One dead. I just got a two for one with a blunder bomb and that was probably the coolest thing I've ever done. <laughs> Let's go. Anyway, with the brigantine that so rudely interrupted our PvE adventure resting at the bottom of that rock, we finished up the ghost fleet and began to collect our treasure along with... Wraith ball all over them. <laughs> all over them? Yeah. Excuse me? Yeah. It's like an area of effect splash damage, right? Okay, okay. What did you think? I'm not going to reply to that. What did you mean by this? But this wouldn't be enough. No, no. I needed more for the guild. And there just so happened to be a fort of fortune on the horizon. Now, you may remember back in season nine, the chest of fortune resided within the fort of fortune however with the coming of season 10 the chest of fortune had been moved to the fort of the damned making this world event a little dull but with two world events cleared well it's for the guild i didn't even get a quarter of a level for a fourth Season 10 has also revitalized the Fort of the Damned with one simple change, the Chest of Fortune. I've seen these forts become extremely active since Season 10 due to this change, because with a new season, well, we need 30 more of these chests to complete the second grade of the Fates of Fortune commendation, all in an effort to unlock this 
interesting clothing set. Now, that YouTuber guy I mentioned earlier was helping both me and Searoll look for these active forts over on twitch.tv slash Sinclair. Because as it turns out, a chest of fortune really helps with leveling up a guild. And we just so happen to have found one. They've just finished. Uh, already. Timing. And by the time we'd made it to the fort, they'd already placed all of the valuable loot onto their ship. And well... I think I got their backmaster. Someone typing, I need help. Oh, I'm sorry, no help. Unless cannonballs are helpful right now, I don't think we are gonna be of assistance. Put the, I'm putting the, I'm putting a jig wall on them and going. Uh, yeah, I'm also going in. Wait, oh, yeah, he's fight. What? Oh no, whatever are we to do? Nice. Oh, I've got no food. I'm throwing. <laughs> oh my god. So these things happen. I killed one. I killed one. Oh hell yeah! Okay, well. <laughs> gaming, the double gaming. Where's the Where's the box though? Where's the funny chest? Are they? I found it. It's a top. Oh, you have it, gamer. Hell yeah! Woo. Putting all the funny chests in the water. Let's go. Get the chest of funny off me, quick. Yeah, that was a pretty fun first chest of fortune experience at the Fort of the Damned. Even if that YouTuber happens to think this. We stole a baby's lollipop. Is basically what just happened. Do you have an issue with this? Yeah, I mean, on the same note of not wanting puppies to die. Oh my god, I need, I need thirty for a video. Okay. I need that here, and I'm not okay. Fine. Wait, does that, that wait? Does that mean I get the cameo on that video? Where don't don't say something unhinged? Yeah, let's go. Absolutely. But hey, a chest of fortune secured is a great thing for the girl. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I've disappeared. I'm gone. Oh my god. Why does yeah? Why does a chest of fortune give that much guild rope? Because they want you to farm it, I guess. Yeah. That like gave the same amount as a whole fort of fortune. <laughs> Now, aside from guilds and the new Fates of Fortune commendations, there's another little side quest the first month of Season 10 has brought with it, the Rowboat Revelry. Well, um, basically there's a bunch of different coloured rowboats you can find, and one of them happens to be pretty rare. And if you find all of them, you get this silly little title too. It's cute. Also, the rare one is called the Good Boy Rowboat, which is hilarious because like, good boy. Anyway, that YouTuber and myself were in the middle of stacking vault keys to grind his Hashtag not my guild. When we found ourselves being chased by a swabby brigantine. The swabby brigantine. Oh. Ain't no way. The, the swabbies yearn for the club. I know, a tale as old as time. These guys were super persistent too. And well, we had no choice but to turn and fight them. But they didn't really put up much of a fight. Well, that's sunk right now. Oh, hell so. yeah, nice. Okay. Both of them are in the water. He's dead. There's one more for you to club. Hell yeah. I know, I know. What does this have to do with the rarest robot I talked about to set this segment up? But bear with me, I'm story guying. Telling. Girling? Look, having sunk the brigantine, we'd found ourselves a cheeky little grade 5 flag when... Uh, that's, a, that's another sloop here. Hot, you're right. Yeah, it looked like the action was just non-stop on this server. Everyone wanted a piece of us. Can you blame them? And as we turned to fight them, that's when I spotted this very good boy. That's a good boy robot right there. Wait, what? That's a good boy rowboat right there. Where? On, on the island? <laughs> yeah. Okay, now we have to sink them. God damn it! So the stakes were pretty high, not gonna lie. That rowboat is basically the shrouded ghost of rowboats. We needed it. F for the commendations, of course. But first, we needed to get rid of this enemy ship. Oh, you need to straighten out, Will. Oh boy. I'm turning right? Yeah. I'm gonna go. I made it. Nice. Well, there wasn't much drama in that fight, but hey, with them gone, we could finally obtain the good boy robo. It's a harpoon good boy. Oh my god. The shrouded robo. The shrouded robo. Oh my god, you're right. There we go. Rarest robo in the game. Best in show. Let's go. I got the Legend of the Oars. And if you thought there wasn't going to be any drama involved with this robo, wow. This was so efficient because we got the good boy robot specifically. If we had any other cringe robot, this would have not worked. This is true. Oh my god, what have you done? We're good. We're fine. Look how fine we are. <laughs> Keep that plank ready. <laughs> Wait, can I push this from here? Oh my god. The good boy! Wait. Wait. I'm wearing. Wait, no. Surely this is not how we lose a robot, right? Trying to use a 
thermodynamics to my advantage. Like this? Yeah, yeah, yeah. If we get it stuck far enough... Yeah, I can push it now. I can, or you can just keep doing that. <laughs> uh, just get ready to wrap. Yeah. I can't wrap it because of the loose on top of it. Oh, no. Oh, no. Wait. We're fine. We're fine. We're fine. We're so fine. Oh, my God. Are, you, are we fine? It looks very really damaged, Tox. This looks very not fine. I'm wrapping. Wait, how do you get the prompt on that? We're so fine. Goodness gracious, Toxie. <laughs> We're fine. We're so fine. Ah, uh, wait, 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 wait. Yeah. Aha. Uh -huh. See? Thermodynamics. <laughs> what the? F what the? So that wasn't just me. Okay. Uh. Um, I'm a magician, by the way. <laughs> Look, he's probably going to lose that rowboat the next time he logs in. However, at least for the time being, it was safe stored on his ship. Toxie, mom said it's my turn to play with the rowboat. You want to get, get on the rowboat then? No, it's my turn. So, remember earlier when I mentioned there were two ways to level up guild reputation, and then proceeded to not talk about the second way, in the hopes that 30% of you were baited into leaving a comment about it? Well, heh. So it turns out one of the most effective ways to level up the guild reputation is through Hourglass PvP, and it makes sense considering how hard Hourglass is in comparison to PvE. Now, I've recently gotten really into Galleon PvP, it's honestly some of the most fun I've had in the game in a while, and we We've gotten pretty good at it as a crew too. One dead. Oh sh! Oh sh! Ah! Straight now, straight oh. now. Yeah, 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 yeah. Oh, this man. Fuck! You have to get creative over there. I killed one. Killed another. Oh, nice, nice. You're gaming for me now. You sunk. <laughs> so, uh, what was that again? <laughs> We've taken on some incredibly strong galleons. With each win, we were pushing our guild reputation up and up. Nice. There we nice. go. Nice. Let's go. Yeah. However, some people out here are stealing my very original jokes. Hey, that's my joke. Now, hold up a minute. That's my joke. Copyright infringement. Yeah, that's a Toxie Sinclair bona fide classic. I mean, what am I without my rubbish innuendos? But, I don't know. Galleon PvP can get pretty intense sometimes. Okay, I'm gonna go all those for them. Yeah, let's go lowers. I'm spreading. Nick looks here. Oh, I hit Bilge. Oh, they... they saw. Hey! Oh, okay. Anyway, we'd fought really hard and finally reached level 15 in the Sinclair Pirates Guild. And with that, we could raise our guild emissary flag and be recognized as a real trading company among the Seer Thieves. It says vote to represent Sinclair Pirates as an emissary. Let's go. That is so cool. That's actually so That's cool. That's amazing. Yeah. All I had to do now was put this flag to the test and I know just the pirate to help me with that. This is Nessie Does, one of the best players within the OCE region. I mean, not only does this pirate have both the Gold Ghost and Gold Skeleton Curses, which are unlocked at level 1000 in both Hourglass factions, but Nessie did it twice. Sorry to put you through the, the staircase of hell with um, the ping gaming. So, with my new guild emissary flag raised, I was ready to earn some serious reputation for the Sinclair Pirates, when I noticed something a little peculiar about the OCE region's Hourglass Glass matches. Oh, there's Swabbies too. Swabbies! Oh no, they're going down. They've gone down there. He's got the box. Wait, are you serious? <laughs> I'm not even kidding. Oh no, this is such a bad look for OCE. So about those gold curses, Nessie. <laughs> oh no! <laughs> so that's how Nessie unlocked his double gold curses. Swabby clubbing for real. Can you say Nessie stink, please? No, I love Nessie. The fact that you can use this flag for literally anything in the game, I mean, even cooking, it it's changed the game. And if you'd like to see more from me, then let me recommend the time we used the Black Pearl from the Tool Tail in our Hourglass matches and made a bunch of players really angry. Thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next one.